Hey guys, I'm Sebastian, host of Ninth Island Connection, your weekly lifestyle resource for all things Vegas. Check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. Before we go any further, you clicked on this because you like this type of content. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We really appreciate you guys. All right guys, so you know what this video is about because you clicked on the thumb, right? We're here at Flamingo. We're gonna check out the pool and we're gonna share with you what are in our opinion, so don't rush this, this is just our opinion, the pros and cons of the pool at Flamingo. Let's go check it out. Let's start with a pro, the landscaping. On your way to the pool, leaving the pool, around the pool is great. You've got palm trees that give you a little tropical feel. You've actually got real grass, which is a rarity in Vegas. You've got real grass, real palm trees all around the pool, which is great. Another pro is that this is a large pool complex. You've got multiple pools, including a 21 plus pool. So remember your ID. There's a lot of people that don't like kids in Vegas. Head over to the 21 only pool at Flamingo. You're gonna have a great time. On the other side of that coin is a con. Not all of the pools are open or open to everyone because again, one of them is 21 and over. They have a water slide area that hasn't been open in years. I'm gonna start by breaking this up by pool. Let's start with the family pool. And we're gonna start with a pro. There's a shorter way to enter because there's generally not a lot of families that come to Vegas and there is no ID required. However, you still need a room key. Another pro is that once you get into the family pool, they have tons of free chairs, but they do fill up fast because there's not a lot of free chairs at the pools in Vegas. Another pro is that there is only a small number of cabanas, which means that you're gonna be able to just sit by the edge of the pool. You're gonna be able to chill. You don't have cabanas right up to the pool like some of the other pool areas. Now, this is a family-friendly pool, but the cabanas are also gonna be pretty basic. If you're looking for a family chill pool, this is gonna be a pro because this pool is quieter and more chill in comparison to the gold pool, which is their party pool. However, it can get really busy and crowded because this is the only family friendly pool at Flamingo and it typically has a ton of kids. Now, because it's typically less crowded, this is gonna be a big pro. There is a bar that's indoors and a grill that's indoor as well. They also have plenty of servers, so you're really never waiting for food or drinks. And you can sit inside the cafe area and enjoy your food or cocktails or just take a break from the sun. Now let's head on over to the Go Pool. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to start this one with a con because this place gets pretty busy. And when it's busy, there's gonna be a wait to get in. But if you're diamond or seven stars, there is a separate line that's kind of like an express lane. Another pro is that there are multiple pool areas throughout this complex, but even so it does get crowded, which can make it difficult to find a spot. But hey, it's busy for a reason. This is a party. Another con is gonna be the limited free chairs available at this pool, especially poolside. You're not gonna find anything poolside. That's gonna be dedicated to day beds, which is definitely a big con if you're not renting a day bed and you're just looking to go down for a couple drinks or just maybe an hour or so and chill by the pool. Another big pro is that they do have a shady area with free chairs. This is gonna be under the waterfall fixture that's wildly popular. So this area is gonna fill up fast and it is kind of small. One thing that I did notice last time we walked through there, there is a strong odor of chlorine. If you're renting a day bed, that's a big pro because you're right in the heart of the action and you're gonna be poolside. Another pro for this particular pool is gonna be that they have three bars down here, 
three different bars. They have a ton of service. If you have a cabana or a daybed, you're gonna have a dedicated server for you. So you're never waiting for a cocktail. This here is a huge pro. There's a live DJ. They also have live performances. They're gonna play loud party music at this pool. So if you're looking for a fun party pool atmosphere, this is the spot for you. If you're not, avoid this pool because again, this is a loud party pool. People are celebrating birthday parties, bachelorette, divorce, whatever it is that they're celebrating, this is the spot to do that. All right, guys, that's it for this one. We want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the pool at Flamingo? Thumbs up or thumbs down? And let us know why. Share in the comments below. And if you haven't already, check out the description. So again, you can watch our television show wherever you are. Check us out every Wednesday. We go live here in Vegas and we share with you what's coming up that particular weekend. So for example, we go live on Wednesday. We tell you what to expect in town Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Whether it's construction projects, a big announcement recently made, whatever's happening in town, we bring that to you. And check us out on social media. We're very active on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. You know all the places. Hit us up. Let us know what you guys think. Four hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.